Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today I really don't have much for you guys except setting up the oil farm. We're going to be breeding up the drug bugs here to get it going. We do got the two poison wyverns here that we're also going to start going. And that is because uh, here in the next two days I'm mostly going to be focusing on getting ready for the manticore. So next episode is probably just going to be me raising up the army. So... But anyways, I've just gone through, I've gotten all the pieces here that I believe I would need for my, uh, my adobe little house here for the oil jug bugs for that farm. Um, I think I'm missing pillars. Do I have enough for just, uh, six wood pillars? I do. Boom, let's pop that in there. Get those crafted, and then do I have my, uh one wood set I do so we'll throw that in there as well and then we'll make sure that's hot barred boom now this is gonna be again just a little structure here so I can store the oil jug bugs I'm just kind of debating on where I want to go put it you know cuz I mean look I got all this stuff here it loops it wraps around and I got that stuff there that's wrapped around the cliff um one thought I've had of like for a place to put it is up here cuz I mean I do got like a little bit of a path up here but then it's going to be like, yo, they're placed up against this, and then it's, yeah, you know. Um, I'm just running out of room is the problem here for farms, especially on this side. Because on the other side there, I want to make that more of a, how would you say, uh, definitely more of like, where I'm going to build a more of a, like a mansion, a storage room, like a trophy room, kind of. That's what I'm going to set up over there, but still working on all that. I just need to figure out where, though, I want to set this up. Okay, I think I have found a nice spot here to set up the oil jug bug farm. I just had to go over here. It's, as you can see, I've already placed on the foundations. So I just got to go over here, get the weeds cleaned up off of it, and yeah. But I figured that would be a pretty decent spot. I might actually move it back one, because I just moved it forward one from where I placed it off of the... Off of the snail's little structure there for the cement farm. Yeah, I think I'm going to knock it back one. So what we'll do is boom. And then pop. And we can pick these all up. You know what though? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to run and go. Yep. <laughs> I ain't done chopping down bushes. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Also, again, I am sorry about uh, having some late videos today. I've been really trying to make sure I'm on schedule, but it's just... With how work is going here recently, it's just I never have any time to uh, record, really. And that's kind of interfering. And, well, I've been meaning to go and get a day off from work, because right now they have me scheduled to work every single day a week. And I know I can request certain days off. It's just I haven't bothered to go in and request days off. And, yeah, I've been thinking about doing that here. Just so that way I have more time to record for you guys. And that's, and it's just because ever since summer started, I, I did take a day off. I took an extra day uh, off there, like, for winter. And then for a while there, I just was rolling with that extra day off. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to cut my time down completely and we're gonna go uh fully into doing i don't know if i want to do it that way and we were just gonna go fu cut our time fully into doing uh ro like road work and then once i was like done with work i would come back home and record videos but it's been quite literally i come back home from work and i am exhausted like i don't want to do anything i just want to sit there and i want to record I don't even, actually, I just don't even want to sit there, and I don't even want to record. I just want to sit there. And it is, yeah, it has become a bit of a issue. It's just like, again, I've fallen into a habit now here where it's kind of more or less just, yeah, just a bad habit here, really, like, you know, when I get off work, just doing nothing, in which that's not a good habit. But I also understand, like, I'm exhausted. I really don't want to do anything. It's just, yeah. So, I again, I got to get myself a schedule set up here so I don't, like, you know, I don't have that burnout, which I feel like I'm facing again, is I'm facing more burnout. 
and it's just because it's like yo you got to come it's like right after work you got to come record and it's not even like give yourself time to uh you know adjust get ready to like in the mood you know in the mood for gaming and yeah um but yeah now we got that structure put up there that one should be pretty decent here for the jug bug um i did have originally more stuff here to mount up on it i'm pretty sure this one here this little structure it should work um i'm thinking about it maybe we do put in the ceilings again and i don't know how we would uh because, I mean, like, look at this one. Like, that one's too wide. And I got another floor up there, and it works. Um, you know what? We'll give it a shot. We'll give this a shot where it has the ceilings right here. And then if I can't get any more jug bugs to fit up there on that top row, we'll change it. Um, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, no. Passive, passive, passive. I don't want you guys, any of you guys following me. I'm pretty sure, though, I have gone through already and set it up so every creature in the farm is set to ignore whistling so that should be pretty good so none of them should actually really you know run after me um you here got me four jug bug eggs we're gonna go see if uh do we do we aim for the genetic library yeah let's let's aim for completing the genetic library like you will get the breeding pair for them done first before i breed them up and throw them in the farm because i've done that with every farm so far on scorched earth right where i've taken the creature and i've bred it down until you know all the stats are the same on them you know i got the breeding pairs done and i think that's what i need to do here with the jug bugs is we'll get the breeding pair done and then what are the stats here i'm looking for on oil jug bugs i'm pretty sure it's stamina and oxygen right so I'm looking for 45 stamina, and then it's like 37 oxygen. All right, yeah, that's our good ones. I could have probably definitely done better on the oxygen, and which I thought I did, but it was originally I was looking at the at the food that the creature had eaten, and it has like one of them has 45 into food, and these eggs are tiny. Damn! Oh god, damn! Where is he? <laughs> I know exactly where everything just got taken to. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. What the hell? Is it within range of this guy? Did you take all my eggs? You did. You did. You yanked all my eggs. So, I think it's this side. If I drop him on it, he should be out of range. Please don't pick him up, please. I've been dropping this here the like longest time. I've left those two over there. Haven't moved around yet. This spot should be pretty good. Um, I also do just need to set up, a, in general, an actual hatching area for eggs. Because this is what I'm using, right? And those are supposed to be used for my polymer farm. So the mantises produce baby uh, mantises. I quickly hop over here on this one, and I swap in between the sword and the club. And it's either I get polymer, or I get mutt in here from the ovises. So... Okay, we're down here to the last 10 seconds here on the fertilized jug bug eggs. These should hope here pop. These should hatch here, hopefully. I just like started like not knowing what I was saying there. <laughs> it was not pleasant. Okay, so. You are a no go. You. No, you know. Is it the 24 I want? No. You know what I need to do is just because I can also do it and I know I can one shot them Let's just start claiming the ones so that way I can move them Because I know that there's one in there. I haven't been able to look at yet Okay, come this way Boom Oh wait, there was two. Oh No, am I wrong? Okay, you're that 205. You there, the 33. You will work perfectly. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just 33. It's like right as I also wanted to go say like, ooh, yeah, that's the 33. I got a cough. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Not that one. This one. Boom. Now we got that one in and we will just quickly machete. And then voila, 
Now, essentially, what I have to do here for the rest of the day is kind of a rinse and repeat of this process until I have the oil oil farm set up here with the jug bugs. Um, I also need to go get the more raw meat. I don't know if they're eating the the prime meat there, but I know that like a lot of my creatures are carnivores. Like, an extreme amount of them are carnivores. So, uh, I'm going to steal Azula's meat here. And we're going to go throw the meat that was on her into the feeding trough here. Just so that way everything has something to eat. Um, speaking of feeding troughs, I got to go check my Akatina. How's this doing? I feel like... I feel like these are spoiling faster than they're eating them. Aren't they? I mean, these guys aren't even fully full, but they also have a timer on, like, when they can eat again, don't they? Maybe? I thought these guys also might eat berries. I might be wrong on that. But, yeah. Um, I miss the fact as well that we don't have the, the S plus gardener or the, you know, farmer and all that. They would pick up the poop and all that. I bet they would even be able to pick up the silk from the thorax spiders and all that. That's something I miss from S+. Plus. But, yeah. Anyways, again, this is just supposed to be a short episode, guys. was just giving you a bit of an update on what we're going to be doing here the next two days. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to hopefully be uh, raising up the Wyvern army. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and get the Wyverns here bred down until I have their breeding pair. Again, same with the jug bugs. And once we have that, I'll pop out. And what we're going to probably do here for the Manticore boss fight is six of each wyvern. So we'll have six lightning, six fire, and six poison wyverns to go do the boss fight. And then that still leaves us with like two open spots. So I could, I might, because here's the thing, that actually adds even more work on if I would do, would decide to go do the rock golems there. Um, But I might, if not, we'll just go in with the 18 wyverns. And yeah, so anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking the episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And if you guys would love to go above and beyond being a subscriber, I am currently running a YouTube channel members goal. So we're currently trying to reach 10 YouTube channel members at $1.99. And once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server for them to play on. So yeah, anyways, it's been Gunshy Mori, signing off. Peace. <laughs>